All right, we go to Florida now, where a state representative zeroing in on a controversial law they say allows doctors to avoid punishment when they make deadly mistakes. The new push comes after a 62-year-old man died from a massive blood clot in his leg. His doctor says she warned doctors about her father's history of those clots, but she says she was ignored. Now she wants those doctors held accountable. She tried to sue for wrongful death, but quickly learned it is impossible because of her age. Walt Buteau from our Tampa station explains this unique legal loophole. I can uh, move it, but I got to help her with my arm. The voice of 62-year-old Keith Shaw. Like I said, it won't point straight up. From a bed at Brandon Regional Hospital. It still hurts really bad. Less than three days after sending this video to his daughter, Davis was dead. I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm hurt. I relive it every single day. Medical records show Davis, quote, had history of DVT, the medical term for blood clots. What was the reaction from the staff? They said, no, 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 there, an ultrasound is not needed. This is not a blood clot. Davis paid for an autopsy that states a massive nine-inch long blood clot in her father's leg caused his death. And this state investigation report says there was no documentation that the hospital policy was followed for risk assessment. I screamed louder than I've ever screamed in my life. I, I didn't even know I had it in me. When asked about the Davis case, hospital spokesperson Brandy Posner said, we rely on physicians to make medical decisions based on their expertise and each patient's unique health care needs. The reason Davis came to us is to get help to change a unique Florida law that does not allow anyone 25 or older to sue for wrongful death of a parent. Representative Yvonne Hayes Hinson is sponsoring a bill that would strike the exclusion for adult children to file wrongful death claims involving their parents. The big pushback so far is from medical lobbyists who claim malpractice insurance costs would rise in a state that already has high rates. Hinson has been blunt toward opponents. Doctors who want to be protected from accountability need to leave the state of Florida. We need doctors who are capable, competent. The marital status and the age of someone's child should not determine if someone is going to be held accountable when they're at fault for medical negligence. We have some meaningful things. Zephyr Hills Republican Danny Burgess chairs the Judiciary Committee where the bill died last year. Burgess has not answered my questions about the push to change the Wrongful Death Act this year. Hinson says without changes, the claims of many malpractice victims will continue to be silenced. Nobody to stick up for them. Nobody to hold people accountable for your life. In Tampa, Walt Buteau, News Nation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.